welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have the build assembly. Y'all get mad at me if I call something a build that doesn't come out of a box like this. Anyway, this is the OMP Bighorn plug and play balsa, guys. This airplane is the price of a foamy, but it's balsa and it comes out of the box with everything you need motor, electronic speed control, all the servos, everything's pre-installed. You can have this plane built in about 30 minutes, ready to go out to the field. So tonight, I'm gonna show you how to put this plane together, and then we're gonna get this out to the field and have some flying. So without further ado, let's get down on the bench and get into this. First step in the assembly, we're gonna go on and slide the wing on. This is more just for me to line up the tail. We're gonna put the tail on first. So, in order to make this our lives just a little bit easier though, we're gonna slide our wings on to measure. So I've slid the wings on now and the reason I did this is now we're going to take our elevator, slide it in, and now that looks all seated good so we're going to grab a tape measure and we're going to measure. I'm going to take the actual the hinge line here out to the wingtip hinge line. And I may get Lori to catch y'all in a closer shot of this. But I'm gonna measure from that tip to right here. Now, each tape measure is gonna be different depending on where you're at, but I'm right at 21 inches on this one. And I walk around to this side and I go to the same point I was at for reference on that side, hold it up to the same point, and I'm at 21 inches. What this does, is make sure that the tail is straight and not sideways off to one side or the other. That's what I'm trying to do with that. Now that I know it's straight, I can either mark it with a marker by simply just going like this. And both sides to where now I can either pull this out put 30 minute epoxy on both sides and slide it back in, or we can do the easier way, which is what I'm gonna do. And let me rearrange the camera so I can show you how I'm gonna glue this. All right, so now we're gonna put some CA on this. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get you guys to see that, but in here, this spot right in here, there's a receiving point, and you'll see it when you have this airplane in front of you. But what you're gonna try and do is where the tail touches the fuselage, you're gonna run CA all down both sides, this side and this side. And then there's a little gap right in here that you're gonna squirt some CA in. Make sure you kind of tilt it down and let it run all down in there. And then we're gonna take and squirt some CA along these hinges on both sides of here and here. And then I'm gonna take and run a little bit along 
here and on the other side. And once that's done, I did pull the wings off to make this part a little easier, but because in that last step, you can see my little black line and my little black line right there to where I could see that it's in the middle and everything's lined up again. That's why we did that last step. And for, like I said, the sake of the video, I just picked the airplane up and took the wings off. But I have glued it now. And you're gonna have to break this thing to get it off of there. That CA, once it sets up, and it sets up fast, and uh, no worries about that falling off now. Once again, if you wanted to, you could have slid this out, put 30 a minute epoxy on both sides of the elevator, and then slid it in, and make sure you're lined up on your lines that you made when you had the wings on, and that's how you attach this. Super easy, sounds complicated, but it's not. Next step, our elevator is firmly attached now, so now we're gonna get our rudder put on. It's as simple as lining it up onto the little holes, wiggling our little hinges in. There's three of them. There it is. You wanna push it in firm. Now, this is the part you wanna make sure this little white line is straight. You can wiggle this up and down a little bit to get it there. But after you glue this here in a minute, she's gonna be stuck. Bottom's flush, line is straight. We've got it all the way butted up. Now, in order to do this on camera, it's difficult, but now we're gonna push our rudder over a little bit, take some thin CA, and hit those hinges. These are CA wicking hinges. And then I'm going to turn the rudder the other way and hit it from the other side. You're going to go crazy on it, but there it is. We're going to look at it one last time. Make sure everything's straight. Now we're going to let that set for just a few minutes. All right, the next step we're going to do is put the tail wheel on. Um, you've got two pre-drilled holes and you've got two short screws that come in the kit and then one long one. The long one's gonna go into the rudder. The two short ones are gonna go right here. So, to make my life easier, I'm gonna take my tail wheel. I'm gonna set it on here. And just put the first screw in to hold everything for a second while we do this. Cause I, would like to put a little bit of CA on these as I put them in there. What that's gonna do, oop, cap just went flying, is keep these screws from backing out ever. It acts as a form of Loctite into wood, basically. So there's my little screw. I'm gonna just put a dab. I'm gonna do it over something other than the airplane. Just a little dab. A thick CA, you could use thin, but it just sets off so darn fast, I don't think you'd ever get it in the hole. And I'm gonna screw that in. Tight, but be careful, it's just balsa. If you, if you go to tighten that like crazy, you're gonna just break stuff out. So, you want it to where it's taut, but not to where it breaks out. I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> Trying to get the other one back out. It's hitting just in the carbon. <laughs> Dang it. I got it. <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right, now that I got that screw back out, I'm gonna take and put a little drop of CA on it. and put it in the hole. And like I said, that CA is gonna shore that up and it's gonna make that not ever move on me. Now, this back part here, the screw hole is not made for it. So, I'm gonna take me a punch and right in the middle of this little receiving point, um, see if you can see that. 
there's a little piece of metal that's coming off of this with a channel. Right in the middle of the channel, I'm gonna poke a hole. And maybe I'll get Lori to cut you in a shot here in just a second, guys. So you can see this after it's all done. And all this is is like a pilot hole. So that when I go to put this screw in, that screw will screw in there real easy. I'd pilot drill it, but this hole or screw is so small that I'm afraid I'd strip it out or I'd cut it too big. So I'm gonna get that going down in there. Straight, like so. All right, so I got it cut. Oops, grab my little screw, just like last time. I'm gonna put a little CA on it. And now I'm gonna put that screw in the hole and try not to get CA everywhere. And now you're gonna screw this down to where it almost touches. You wanna let it hang out just a little bit so that while this rudder moves, it can move in that channel is the whole goal here. And actually, just let me pick it up and I'll show you guys this stuff up a little closer now. So now that it's assembled, I screwed this screw almost to touch this, not tight, because that little channel, the screw head moves in and that's what turns your wheel. And you can see the other two screws there. But yeah, that's how that works. All right. All right. Now we're gonna get our wheels put on. So we flip the airplane over. I waited to do this until we had the uh, tail put on just so it's less stuff to bonk and into things, you know. You guys that have put an airplane together before you understand, you end up banging wheels and things into everything. So, take my wheels. I'm gonna put one bolt in just to hold everything loosely. And I'm gonna take one of my little nuts. I'm gonna grab a little Loctite. That way we don't have to worry about these falling off in the future. Blue. Remember, blue you can get back off. Red, you'll never get back off in your life. Red is dead. Don't use red Loctite unless you plan on never having to repair your landing gear, ever. I'm gonna just snug that down with my fingers. Once again, little Loctite. Dabble, do ya? And we'll grab that middle one now that we put in. Little drop of Loctite. And remember, wood airplane, don't worry about trying to destroy this thing by tightening it, but get them snug. It is a blind nut on the backside. But you don't gotta go crazy. All right, wheels on, looks good. All right, next step in the process is gonna be putting our control push rods on. There are two in their own bag and four all the same length. The four that are all the same length are for your wings. The longer one in the two bag is gonna be for your rudder. The shorter one is gonna be for your elevator. These just snap on and you wanna provide power from your receiver 
to these. So these are on right now and in the centered position. I didn't show putting in my receiver in because guys, I want you to use whatever receivers you want, whether you fly Fly Sky, Spectrum, uh, one of the other bazillion different ones, Open TX. So what I'm doing right now is I'm tightening this in because this control rod was too long and it's still just a little bit. And what I'm doing is looking from the top down and I'm making this rudder, I want this rudder to be straight right now. And the way to do that is to adjust these little push rods in or out until you get them right where they need to go, like so. And now we clip it. And now my rudder's straight and it's hooked up. So. We're gonna set up and do it on the other side. I'm not gonna bore you with this four times in a row, but I have to put this one on this side now for the elevator. You want everything to be centered and neutral when you get done, and we will get back to you in a minute when that is completed. All right, got my push rods all hooked up. I'm gonna just make them work real quick and test them. There you go, good range of motion, full travel, looking beautiful. All right, final step on your installation to any successful airplane is a Mary Boozer nose art sticker available at Cali Graphics down in the description of this video. Just saying, every airplane flies better with a sweet Papa Boozer patch on the front. And I had one that just matched the colors perfect, so we're putting the dragon up here. Look at that, huh? Look at this, Captain Blush. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Guys, this wraps up the assembly video on the OMP Hobbies Bighorn. If you've decided to get one of these, check out the link down in the description. Um, they are available for pre-order, or if you're watching this in the future, they're already available. Um, the airplane went together super easy. I love the color scheme. It is available in three other color options. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, we're also gonna be doing the Challenger uh, on the channel. So check out for those videos if they're out yet. So without further ado, please like, share, subscribe, get out there and fly with your friends. Think about becoming a Boozer's Barracks paid member down in the bottom. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.